Hey, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Stephen Davidson here in a shave video. And this is Menthol Monday. So, let's get started. I'm going to go, I just got out of the shower, so everything's nice, washed, and hydrated. So, I'm going to go with my Valule pre shave oil, the usual. This is going to freak some of you mainly guys out, and hot rodders and whatnot. I'm going to go with my. Greg Wagner Gear Shifter Comfort Knot. Soft as synthetic knot you can buy. Nothing touches it. Go to trim with a twig, the sideburns, and the mustache area. And I've got a fresh Perma Sharp in there, as you can see. Going with my usual leaf, but this time, hopefully, a better blade. I'm pretty sure that it is. See if I can get it open for you. With a fresh pole silver super iridium. So that's going to be really interesting. Right there. Let's shut it back in for you. And the D89, that blade couldn't be matched except by the Brazilian made Gillette Platinum Plus. But those blades were discontinued. They changed the grind on them to turn around and named them Ruby. And now they ain't worth the flip. But the pole silvers was about the same, except in longevity. And I don't go for longevity anymore. And since it's Menthol Monday, the star of the party, Katie's Bubbles Mile High Menthol. It's their take on Parasso Green, a tribute to them. Jim and G.I. James got me interested in it. And I'm going to finish it off with Panod's Osage Rub menthol goodness right here so let's get started on the pre-shave with a pre-shave oil which is not mentholated that's the only thing that isn't mentholated all right uh, in the trailer i use sterling soaps orange chill mentholated shampoo bar and man did it feel good much needed <laughs> Much, much needed. I got about two days worth of beer grills. So that's going to be real interesting to see how that goes. Been a while since I've used Katie's bubbles. So it's going to be real interesting. I haven't used them in a long time. Mm -hmm. Get my uh, rinse and cough. I forgot it again. Second here, boom. <sighs> oh. All right, we're off the bloom water. Don't need it now. All right. All right, you're just supposed to use the tips when you load up the Greg Wagner brush. You don't want to do any real serious damage to it. And Katie's Bubbles doesn't take much. In fact, I tend to overload it more than anything else. All right, that's plenty. Don't the puck. Didn't get any proto leather. Which is not surprising. All right. What's one of the real? Hope everybody's doing well today for a Monday. Mm, 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 mm. 
Yeah, Mental Monthies is somebody, something, some, somebody submitted it somewhere. And uh, it's an event that's going on today over in Wet to Face Mimi Group. So I'll get to post it in the event section as well as the regular group on top of that. Mm -mm. There goes the menthol. Oh man, does it feel good. Menthol always feels good in any condition. It's fresh in the morning. Perfect for a hot summer day. But even the winter time, it's really fresh. It's that sparkle, if you will, to the day if you shave in the morning. And at night, it cools you off and refreshes you and calms your nerves and soothes them after a long day. Uh, yogurt, anyone? Check that out. Uh -huh. I've got, got in touch with the Honeydew service finally. They're going to fix my uh, shower and check out my toilet, which is leaking again. They put it in for me when they remodeled my bathroom earlier this year in May. Got a good question the other day for uh, from a, somebody that's new. It's kind of loaded, but it wasn't really loaded, loaded. You know what I mean? It wasn't somebody trying to start something. It was a legitimate question. Guys do want me to get into wet shaving. Eat up the twig with a primer sharp. Asked me a real good starter rater because everybody kept pointing him to this, this, and this. And he said he couldn't afford that. The razors that people were recommending so I told him about the Edwin Jagger DE89. Told him it was around 40 to $45. All the heads are same, just different handles. Just pick your handle. Mm -hmm. And uh, get a blade sampler pack, but I told him about these pole silver blades and how well they work for me. Now to heat up the leaf. And how they work for me in the DE89. I couldn't tell if there was a blade and a razor with the pole silver blades. No joke. They were that good. In fact, the only difference between them and the Gillette Platinum Plus that I mentioned earlier was that the uh, Gillette Platinum Plus that was made in Brazil lasted two shaves longer than the pole silvers. But since I don't go for longevity too much anymore, I have no problem going with Pole Silver Brilliance because they discontinued the Brazilian made. In fact, I think they even left Brazil. They discontinued the Brazilian made Gillette Platinum Plus. I think they moved to Solinger or somewhere up in there. Changed the name to Ruby, reground the blades. And the grind, the new grind ain't worth a flip. To me, that is, they ain't. And uh, never liked them since afterwards. But in the DE89, they were very nice blades. Mm. 
before they changed everything, they were great blades, and then they changed them and ruined them. These are real comfortable blades, man. These pulse silvers are great, believe. You can tell there's a blade in there, but not much. It's very comfortable. And nice first pass. Just about don't need another one, but knowing my luck, I'll do another one. Just to be safe. Turn it off a little bit, get that mint off going. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Heck yeah, that twig's awesome. They notice no cuts neither. Money pass. So for you new guys out there and you're wondering, and you want a razor that's solid middle of the road, easy to use, well made, won't break the bank, budget friendly, but still looks great like an expensive razor, I highly recommend the Edward Jagger DE89. In addition to their DE86. Both razors are great. They're the same head basically. Minus. Same head. Same geometry. Same blade gap. Same everything. The only thing difference. On the Edwin Jagger razors. Would be the handle. You got some with extra long handles. You got some with the standard handles. I mean. It, 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 it's endless. And my buddy Rod George. And along with a few other people. Make some great, 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 beautiful, beautiful custom handles. So you won't be uh, left out anything if you do decide to get one. All right, half past time.
and Jerry's still out yet, but I think I may have a blade that nuts knocked off. And it's not surprising the Gillette 7 o'clock blacks. And that would be this pole silver right here. Not one cut. Super comfortable blade. I mean, a really comfortable blade. And if you put this blade to DE89, once you learn how to use the DE89 and get your technique in there, you won't even tell there's a blade and a razor with these. And that's the simple truth. The only question is longevity, and that will depend on what kind of beard growth you have, how tough your hair growth is that you're shaving, how often you shave, all that factors in. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Touch up spots here and there, which is about normal with any razor. Oh, tits. All right, hot water rinse. Switch it over to cold. Cold water rinse. That's going to feel real good right here, boys and girls. Very good. And how about that? I don't even get to use my new Allen block. Sweet, huh? Oh my. That does feel good. Whole silvers have worn so far. If they last a long time, then there's my new top blade. I don't want them to last too long, but still, that, that you ain't gonna beat that kind of quality of a shave. All right, let's do a quick recap here. We went with a uh, Vanule pre shave oil, 100% natural, made by Monica Gillen. We went with the Greg Wagner 30 millimeter comfort knot. Find him on Facebook and message him. He'll hook you up. We went with, we trimmed with a twig and the mustache area and sideburns with a, with a twig, excuse me, with a fresh Permasart blade. I went with my usual leaf with a fresh pole silver blade for shave on it. And the star of the party was Katie's Bubbles, Mile High Menthol for Menthol Monday. And now, to finish it off, I'm going to go with Osage Rub. How healthy does mine be, too? <laughs> and this is going to feel really good. <laughs> Oh man, you kidding me? Oh wow. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -mm -mm. You're not gonna beat that. Wow. Oh man, does that feel good? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care and God bless. See you on the next one. Later.